All right. Welcome into this week at Gridiron Icon. I am joined by my better half and partner in crime, legendary LA Ram, Preston Denard. Great to have you in here, my friend. And we have a very special guest this week. Yes, As we do. I, it's, I'm excited for this one. I'll tell you, as anyone who follows this podcast knows, Preston and I really like to bring in everybody that touches the game and people from different walks of football and, and even people outside of football. But this one's really special and unique. And I think a first for us on Gridiron Icon, we are bringing in an NFL and LA Rams photographer. And that is probably all I need to say for anyone who's loyally followed the Rams <laughs> as long as I have and Preston played there. Henry Yep, welcome in, Henry. We are thrilled to have a photographer, an NFL photographer, with us. Print. <laughs> it is different, but uh, these were this, these photos were like a long time ago. Uh, I was there. I covered the Rams as an intern for ten years, almost. Like not even ten years, but uh, uh, just taking up. Uh, I, was, I wasn't there as a photographer. A friend of mine from the Orange County Register named uh, David Garcia, mm. he he's the one that got me in there because he was working with the Orange County Register and he does all of the sports. And he asked me if I could, he knew I lived in the neighborhood because we, we uh, went to school at Arizona State. So he, he got the job and I came home and he knew I was around the neighborhood. I lived around the corner from Cal State Fullerton. He goes, mm. great. So... He told me to go take some pictures at training camp. I go, okay, I, I could do that. <laughs> like I was going to training camp before he even asked, so, though. <laughs> so, right. so I was there. Cal State Fullerton. I was having I was having everybody sign my my football cards. I go, you know what? I guess I should take pictures. <laughs> so that's what I got into it. And uh, but when I went to Arizona State, I went for music, not for photography. Mm, and like right. I ended up that way because I go, oh well. I, it was another elective I wanted. I was kind of interested in, so I entered uh, photojournalism over there, and I graduated in the Then he oh, came down wow. here. Then I came down here, and he he was working with the register, and he asked me, "Can you help me take pictures?" And then I go, "Yeah, but I need you to take, take pictures of the cheerleaders." And I go, oh, <laughs> oh, man, "What an <laughs> awful job!" I, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, go, I guess I go. No one else. I'll volunteer. <laughs> so that went on for a while. That went on for a while, like about mid season. He goes, Okay, can you take pictures of the games? And he goes, Yeah, I can take pictures of the games. I've been doing that. Go, There's only so much you can take of the cheerleaders. And I go, after a while. <laughs> I mean, I like them and everything, but I go that I got tired. <laughs> wow. So I, Talk I, about I, being in the right place at the right I time. Well Henry, so. that's pretty exciting. Hey, let's rewind. Let's back up. Let's find out how we got to this point. And we're going to come back and visit all those exploits. Take us back when you were a young man growing up, your interests. Uh, how early did you get into the photography? When did all this click? Oh, cause, well, I lived in East L.A. And uh, a next door neighbor uh, was going to the Ram games. And I didn't know football at that time. And I and he'd be talking about Roman Gabriel, uh, Jack Pardy, mm -hmm. Jerry Rome, and uh, Larry Smith, all those guys. So I, I just listened to him, and I, I the, the only time I only had access to the Rams is when I, re I was reading a newspaper called the Herald Examiner back in the days. Mm -hmm. So I kept all the pictures, I cut them out, and kept them in a little book. I go, one of these days I'm going to see the Rams. So, <laughs> But since we were little, and I come from a family of 12, we, we I couldn't afford to go to the games. I just heard them on the radio. And then I got to high school, and I played football there. And then some Ram, Jimmy Nettles of the Rams came by. Oh, wow. And he's the first Ram I met. And I go, okay. I go, I go so I, I was impressed, and he showed me some pictures. And I saw some film on him back in the day when they had the uh, – they had some kind of Ram show back here, and I was looking at that. It was all black and white at that time. I had a little mm. TV, black and white. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't go to a game. I hadn't gone to a game till my sophomore year in high school. A Rams, an actual Rams game, and uh, it was a charity game where the Rams were playing the Chargers, and John Hadel was the co was a quarterback of the wow. Chargers, and they had Roman Gabriel and uh, uh, I think Carl Sweetan was a backup at that time. And I was interested in being a quarterback. 
but I, I never grew. <laughs> But I I, so they put me. I had speed, so they put me at receiver. And what, what tell you the truth, what interested me more playing receiver in high school was watching Preston. I watched Preston because I wanted to wear number eighty-eight on my. On oh my, jersey. my goodness! <laughs> uh, my high school jersey, but they already some guy already had it. Yep. And oh, shame on him. So they gave me eighty-four. <laughs> I go, no, oh, Jack Snow's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I settled with Jack Snow and stuff like that, and. So happens the coach was a, a big Rams fan too, and he had season tickets. And then he turned them on to my brother because my brother was a good student of his, or at that time, uh, mm-hmm. while well, he was a he was like a, a counselor for kids that are that are doing too good out there in the in the after school. They just, I guess, gangbangers. He he, yeah. he began, and my some of my brothers were in that area, so. He treated my brother to that. My brother took me to a Ram game, and that's in oh, '67. Wow. That was in '67, and when I ran into Jack Pardee on the way in, I didn't even know who it was. <laughs> <laughs> go, Jack Pardee. I go, who's that? He go, well, that's Joe Chevalli, Jack Pardee, and uh, mm-hmm. and then we had Ben Ben Casey at that time there too. So I got to know them because they were helping the youth in the in the city. Uh, go. So that's how I got to go get going on the on the um, Ram fan stuff, and I just kept up with them in high school. And I bought football cards and and stuff like that. Went went to high school, and I I laid off the Rams for a while because I was busy looking working on my studies. Mm-hmm. And then after <laughs> that, uh, a friend of mine that that had a car. I didn't have a car at that time. He goes, let's go see some Ram games. I go, so we bought tickets individually, like for each game, and it piled up. And then, and then they moved out of the Coliseum after the Super Bowl to Cal State Fullerton. I go, well, let's go over there. I go, I got to go to school. I go, because that's when I was going. <laughs> I go, well, well, we'll do it in the summer and then go over there. And, and we, so we did that in Cal State Fullerton, and that's where I go. I had all these cards I had from over the years since junior high. I go, might as well have them signed. And I had Dick Bass out there. They were at that yeah. time. They were, they were hanging around at Cal State Fullerton. You saw Dick Bass and the Night Train Lane was there, and those oh, guys, wow. Willie Allison, and oh, I go, I know these guys. They, yeah, but the weird thing is, I'm going to fast forward a little bit when they went to St. Louis, and they had old timers, I guess, the appreciation thing in there. Mm-hmm. I got to see Maxie Bond, Isaiah Robertson, Willie Allison, Les Josephson, Rich. all those guys. And they were surprised that I knew their names. I go, wow, really? Because <laughs> I, I was yelling for Maxi Bond, and he goes, who the heck's yelling my name? I, didn't I, know. Know. <laughs> I, go, I didn't know anybody would know me out here. I, cause they're St. Louis, and they're not L.A. They, yeah. These guys are all L.A. Rams. And these guys didn't know Maxi Bond from nothing. They didn't know who he was. Insane. And here yeah. I am. Hey, Maxi, he goes, you know me? actually know me? So, <laughs> I go, yeah, I saw you when you were playing out here before you came from Philadelphia. He goes, you know that too? So they were, <laughs> they were impressed. So, and I got to meet the players over these last 30 years. I got to meet a lot of players oh. from back in the day. And no one knows them, like uh, mm. David Ray and those guys. And mm. I still I talked to Frank Corral, and he says yeah. hi, Frank. I he, just talked to him the other day. Yeah, well, tell us about some of those special relationships hey, that, that you might have. Well, I had to keep – away from them because of John Robinson and Chuck Knox kept the same rule. Huh, really? I go, Man, same guy. I go, I, I thought they had different rules. It, they, Is that because you were a fan, Henry? Or did, or at this point you weren't a photographer yet? Uh, I, w- I was a photographer at this time. Oh, wow. And they were still like, don't mess yeah. with wow. players. You know what? Interesting. They, they, we could go in training camp but and take mm. pictures, but some of the guys I took pictures of didn't make the team. Yeah. So uh, I, yeah. I was talking I was talking to some of the other guys the, the, like like Kevin Green and Mel Owens and those guys oh, uh, George man. Andrews those guys. George, yeah. Yeah, and Harry Carson and I go Dave Almondorf. I was talking to those guys. Oh, mm-hmm. and so that's the thing and and uh, they but John Robinson said, put that rule out there, and then I. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. But, but these players knew who I was. They knew me by face, like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're familiar. Go. Yeah, I couldn't talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I had to stay 
keep, you know, I didn't want to wear out my welcome. Yeah. So, and then I got to the point where I got to eat with you guys at lunch and stuff like that wow. sometimes. And I still couldn't talk to you guys. <laughs> you, you, you're getting here, but you can't talk to you. You have your own table here. But there was, I wasn't the only photographer there. We had about 15, 16 guys okay. since I was right. there. Right, exactly. Okay. And I, I ran into a couple of them, and I go, how come you guys don't put this stuff out on social media, the photos you took back then? It goes, because it's all on film, and we've got to transfer it digitally and all that stuff. And right. they've, been taking right. digital, they've been taking digital since then, millions of photos since then. I go, well, I'm going to get mine out and uh, oh. digitize them. So the page has them all. Right. Can Not you all say them. that? Can you tell us that page again for those it's, listeners that want to check I, you out? Yeah, it's Rare Alley Ram Photos uh, uh, Seen Through the Lens of Henry Yep. Is that the, the whole that thing? The, okay. the whole wow. thing. All you got to do is put uh, uh, Rare Alley Ram Photos, and that takes you right to it. Okay. Right to okay. it. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I just put LA you in Ram a couple photos. of days ago. Uh, Preston, I put you a couple of days ago as photo of the day. I Did put a photo you? of the day oh. every day. But Did you? Sometimes I get different photos in there, and uh, uh -huh. I, I tell them, I go, how can you put up this, another photo of this play when you had them here? Like, well, there's only fit the 32 guys on the team at that time, and yeah. I have 40 years worth of photos. I go, eventually, <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I can't show you guys every day, and I go, I go, but yeah, they 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 rib me a little bit now. Even even Reggie Doss goes, big you red, big red, yeah. yeah you, <laughs> he goes, you don't have enough of me. I go, wow. Well. <laughs> big I, pretty I go, boy. Yeah, so, but, Henry, this is incredible. So you started out with some as somebody like myself who was just mm -hmm. a diehard fan. Yeah. I had all. I literally had all of Preston's football cards. Showed my <laughs> son a week ago. Wow. I had, you know, and, and Preston's friends and teammates have been coming on. So you started out just as a big fan of the team, and then you I worked. Your, did you like you were taking photojournalism, but then you just you shifted into this mode where you were. I mean, I got a million questions about action shots, having seen live NFL games and the speed mm. at which these guys move. Yeah. I, were you ready for all that when you started? Well, I, saw, I saw some of it in college at Arizona State, but okay. But uh, the, to tell you the truth, I ran into Ron Brown. He graduated at <laughs> Fallen Park out here, and yep. he graduated the same year. And I played against him. That oh. my coach told me. My coach told me they have two of the fastest receivers in the country. Well, oh no, in the in the, the division. I go okay. So that's when I first saw Ron Brown. I go, this guy is not fast. He's super fast. I go, <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't know he had world class speed. Yeah, he did. He charged <laughs> us. And then I saw him again in Arizona State, and he was a receiver out there. Him and Aaron Cox. He went to Jordan High School out there. And uh, well, I told him, why didn't you get bring Flip with you? Because Flip used to play out here too, Flipper mm -hmm. Anderson. Right, right. And, and Aaron Cox and Flipper Anderson were buddies. I figured they'd come together. To, but Flipper went to UCLA, and and he wanted to be close to home to his mom so he could see his games and stuff like that. I go, oh, I'll tell Flip. He's a sissy. He could always come back. And <laughs> 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 but that's how we. I got to know these players as, as the years go along. And then I, I lost track of them because Facebook mm -hmm. wasn't out at that time. Right. 10, 20, 15 years later, I run into them again. I go, I'm running into all of them, like Del Pino and those guys. Oh, and yeah, Robert. And, yeah, Robert Del Pino and the Mike Gooman every now and then. Yeah. I go, And a lot of that's at some of the celebrity golf tournaments. That yeah. But to as well. Some of these guys don't play golf. Because yeah. I invited <laughs> some of them. Because oh, well, you know as well, Preston, I'm part of the SoCal Ram Booster Club yes. out here. And the, they put me in charge of player personnel. I go, why? Oh. <laughs> Because you could get the players. I go, oh. You're in the know, yeah. <laughs> yeah but, you know, and I, not just them, I bring the old cheerleaders back from back when they were cheering too. So I bring yes, them up. Yes, yes, yes. So I bring we're going to have a couple of them on, on the show coming up soon. Yeah, some I, I don't even know. I go, there, there's so many cheerleaders he had back then. You should talk oh. to Mary Cromwell. She was one. I know. I've been trying to get Mary on. She wants to yield. She yield to Nolan already. And so I told Stacy, I'm still working on Mary. I think yeah. she'll come on, though. Yeah, well, if you need help, I could get you some other girls. Oh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to need your help. <laughs> Let's round this show out. Let's round it out. <laughs> 
took Tom Henry said, you got to be on the show. You got to be on the show. Let me ask you this. this. Um, Can you recall the first, say, sports celebrity that you've ever taken a photo of? Who would have been the very first one? Uh, I was doing the LA Marathons at that time. Muhammad Ali. Really? I sat wow. next to him. I thought there was a, like, you, know, you put names on the table for where mm-hmm. you're sitting, and mine was right there, and Muhammad Ali was on my left. Oh. And I look, and I look, I, I tell someone, are you sure I'm supposed to be sitting here? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I got the same story. I uh, flat yeah. on a plane back from Chicago with him, so I had three hours wow. with him. I, how how he, exciting. He, he didn't talk much because he was, at that time, the Parkinson's was Oh, okay. it, was, it was getting to him, but he was coherent. He, he, he knew everything. Yeah. Matter of fact, he, he was the one that started the LA Marathon with the with the flag. Mm-hmm. And you hear the crowds yelling his name, Ali. All. So that was kind of fun. Oh, so when I sat next to him, and at that time, the OJ trial was going on, and I was doing that. Mm-hmm. And so I, I ran into Marla Gibbs, Mayor Bradley out here, and uh, there were some other celebrities that uh, – that, uh, that were out here too, uh, like that. I forgot his name. He plays the, the Jeffersons. I oh, forgot. okay, okay. Yeah, I oh. don't know his name. Sherman I, Hemsley. I don't yeah, know. That was, was that Sherman Hemsley. Yeah, yeah. short. Yeah. yeah. Then, then the lawyers like Johnny Cochran and the, yeah. those guys oh. were at the at the at the dinner after the race. So they were all fighting each other, but yet in in the tent, they were all pretty cool with each other. So that was right in the middle of the OJ trial. So that, that was going on. Wow. And I was there. I, I was uh, at that time, I was freelancing and I went to the OJ, uh, I went to the Nicole where all that was happening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I went there and, and I, I saw part of history there. And I saw him when he knocked down his mansion and stuff like that. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't there. I wasn't there during the chase, though. But like, uh, <laughs> it's good. I was, I was yeah. there. <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> You don't own a white Bronco. We're very glad to hear that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're pretty durable. <laughs> I, I have to ask, Henry, I tell you, I mean, you've been f- taking photos of the Rams. Maybe you could give us a timeline of when you started and if you're still doing it. I, I'm on the page. I'm look, I see the picture of Preston uh, from four days ago. It's awesome. Um, on As you've watched the Rams evolve from Los Angeles, St. Louis, back to Los Angeles, what has been the one thing as a photographer that you think has changed the most? Is there anything that jumps out? You have an eye for this stuff. so the, Well, the quality uh, and the talent of the photos they have today, these photographers today, mm. it is 10 times better than what we had. Because they get to review their photo shots and their cameras and stuff like that. It's a lot quicker. You could send it in right away to typo, wherever. You could t- say they're working for the Times or something, take the picture, send it to the Times. It's already at the office where we had to develop everything, wow. put it in canisters. We had to go through airports, make sure this stuff didn't go through uh, x-rays because it'll ruin everything. Oh. So, so mm-hmm. everything changed, like a, different from film to digital. That, that was the hard part. And I got I got used to it, but like I see them now, I was, boy, oh, man, this is easy. If I had the digital, I'd be like, yeah. I'd probably have 10 times more pictures than I would because you don't know if you have the shot or not. Yeah. Because you can't see. Uh, like the half the shots you see there, I go, I'm, uh, I didn't even know. Uh, if I got them, I have to take eight or nine of them at the same time. And uh, you only use one. Wow. So, wow. So it, was a lot of, it was a lot of work. And, and then the shots you want, you thought you had, that you didn't get. It's because a referee yeah. got in the way or Andre Risen ran over me on the sideline because oh. Anthony, <laughs> Anthony he stole our thunder. Out of <laughs> like, he was only coming out of bounds. He was just, Andre just caught the ball and he was just cruising out of bounds. Here comes Anthony Newman, pushes him right out, right yeah. on top yeah. of me. I, did uh, you say? Did you just drop an Anthony Newman reference? So yeah, he did. <laughs> that is. I Cute. played against two Rams in high school. I played against two oh, Rams. Wow. Needless to say, I didn't make the big leagues. No, no mystery Why? why. Big. <laughs> but I played Anthony Newman was our running back at our rival high school. Wow. Long story with him. And then I also played against Latin Barry. Latin, Latin Barry. Oh, yeah. I, I still, he still, he gets a hold of that page every now and then. Does he? Yeah, oh, I'd so love he, to talk to he, Latin. You could yeah. always get, get on him and, and you could talk to other players too that, that were there briefly, like Frank Stams and, 
Oh, you have, you remember him? <laughs> Absolutely. And then you got I got uh, Pfeiffer in there, Roman Pfeiffer. Roman Pfeiffer. Yeah, the, he they, missed they, the Super Bowl it. by one year. All those years, and then he missed the '99 team in St. Louis. Ah. Yeah, well, that that was kind of funny when I went to that Super Bowl because I they won. I was great. I was happy for that whole year they, oh. that they were doing the greatest show on turf. Like, go, man, if they would have played like this back home, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. same emotion. Yeah, and it just didn't feel well when the first game at Bush Stadium, right. when they got their first a '95. And the Rams came out and they were cheering him on. I go, this is not right. I, it didn't feel right. <laughs> but yeah. Georgia kept me on payroll. She she liked the way I did things. I got personal with her. And yeah, because uh, huh. yeah, some some people at the top didn't want me there anymore. And uh, uh -huh. so Kevin Green stepped up for me. And, did he? Oh, okay, man. And him and Georgia knew what they were doing exactly. So you just stay here. You're going to stay on my payroll until. Oh, and then, so I, after she passed, I stood on there till I was 1995, was my last day there. Okay. I started in 1986, but I was an intern mm -hmm. uh, with the Rams from uh, 84 to, I guess, 84 to 86. But 86, I didn't get paid. I was still an intern until like, like 1986 or 80, 80, 1988, 1980, when they made that playoff run. Yes, oh, yes, yeah. yes. yes. That year. So that's when I got in. And and when I went to my first training camp, I was doing it by myself. I had to do everything on my own. I go, what? I don't believe I'm here mm. doing this. Yeah, that's incredible. So and, did and, they? Did the Rams take your photographs, or were you maybe walk through some of us not so smart people on on the life of a photographer? Like, do they actually purchase the the they, photographs they from you, or how does that work? Well, they already already had paid me for for the summer. I so whatever photos I took, I just turn in, and they get whatever they they want, mm -hmm. and then whatever they don't use, I don't get those photos back six months later. And wow. all whatever photos I took of that training camp, when they they're not using, they sent them back to me because I asked for them. Because like, what do you do with them when you when you're done choosing and picking them off? If they throw them away, and I go, you wow. don't have an archive. And they go, well. The hometown, they'll call the players hometown all the time. And then they'll slip through that. And then they'll, they'll go through media. And then the, the the Associated Press would come by and they take some off. But all they say is Associated Press, but they wouldn't put my name on there because they didn't know who the photographer was. Uh, <laughs> they oh say Alec Brands provide, you know. And stuff like that and then i didn't take any of the pictures of the programs because they didn't use any of those they were using them all for the hometown players say like when jack and lives where jacksonville or wherever he lived yeah they, all the photos would go to that hometown and then from there they distribute them out oh. and so i see my then, then at that time uh pro set football cards came out oh yeah mm -hmm. and most of those football photos are all mine but i didn't get no credit for it oh my god wow. i have those I have yeah, those. I got the, some. Well, I took all the pro set ones and really you know, Bay, the Giants playoff game with Flipper caught that oh, ball yeah. right through yeah. the tunnel. <laughs> well, well, you're looking at the guy who took it. And, oh um, my God, that's great. So, that is awesome. But I got no credit. Oh, know? this is this is strikes too close for me to with what like talking with Preston and some of the great players we've had on here. Mm -hmm. That was the golden era of Ram football, at least for mm -hmm. this guy. And it's amazing to hear you're not getting credit for all those photographs. And then I look at what some of the players go through health wise, health insurance and some of the mm. extended benefit programs. Man, I got to tell you, it's criminal. Yeah. Well, it's criminal. Uh, yes. It's kind of like Costco. If you ask me, they have this one brand they're <laughs> selling like crazy and then they stop selling it. Yeah. Yeah. Always. <laughs> always. Like, why do you stop selling them if you're making money? <laughs> you know, yeah. So that's kind of like, what they do to us and the players that I go, you guys were good and good. And they stop for some reason. Mm -hmm. They stop, you know, they, they don't acknowledge you or something. I go, but wow. I go, I wasn't there, you know, like today. Uh, the I, I just want to take a picture of one game just to get my wits together and stuff, memory lane or something. But they don't even acknowledge that I worked there, that wow. I worked there. Well, because this is a whole new regime. These people that yeah. are running the show right now weren't even right. born when I was working. 
Yeah. Right, right, exactly. So yeah. I had to take that event. I go out and they, it's my word against theirs, but they don't look at my page. And I, yeah. some of them are starting to, some of them are starting to come over because they all they all want legends to go to their games, yeah. and they pick they go to mine and then they pick them off there. Oh. Wow. Well, Henry, let me ask you this question: What are the signature shots that you got? that are iconic. I mean, just the greatest accomplishment that you've had in your career. Well, I guess Dickerson running 200 yards uh, oh. to up uh, the Dallas Cowboys. He broke that yep. record in the playoffs. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you've seen it, but it, it oh, just yeah. coming towards the end of the end zone and everybody's just <clears> doing <throat> around and stuff like that. Oh, sorry. And um, Is that the shot where he is in the end yeah. zone yeah. with his yeah. arm up? He's That's coming, your photograph. He's coming right at me. He's coming right at me. And wow. then there's another one where, where um, okay, Flipper Anderson's that one right there. Yeah. That one. And when he ran in, he, uh, I'll tell you something about that one. He, he 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 did that. He caught it, and I ran straight into the tunnel. Before I didn't know he was going to run into the tunnel because I wanted to go film. My wow. film was going up, and as if. As I was changing, he comes by me and hits me in my camera. I go, oh, come on. Oh, so I picked up everything. And as I was picking up everything, here comes the team running in the locker room. And After Henry that, talks yeah. with his buddy. He comes in and hugs it because he had his helmet off. And Flipper Anderson took off his right. helmet and it up against the locker room. He was yelling like crazy in there. Like, when he, he, he roared. And then an <laughs> Aaron he roared. He, in mid-roar, uh, Aaron Cox ran in and hugged him, but his helmet, he had his helmet on still his case, hit Flipper right in the mouth. Like, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my Boy, God. He was pissed. Then he had to get interviewed, and he's bloody lip and everything. I go, he did that. <laughs> and then the rest of the team comes in and mobs him. He had no chance no t to clean the blood off his mouth because Aaron hit him so hard with his helmet. Oh, my I, God. Oh, I, go, I heard he hurt some guy on the way in in the front of the tunnel. He was wearing some silver jacket. That guy, that guy was, I guess, some some kind of security. He wouldn't let me go in. But as as that play went on, I went in. He he forgot about me, and then he got wow. hit. I go better him get hurt than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you, you know, Stacy, in, in the beginning. If you see that film, you'll see that one guy trying to get out of the way so fast. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Stacy and I, in the beginning, we noticed uh, your backdrop and the football paraphernalia that you have. But where is the just the great room of photos? You know, I've got all kind of stuff on my wall. Of course, I'm on the road now. This is my traveling yeah. kid. Stacy's got his. Where is yours? All your photos. Do you have them displayed in a proud no. moment? No, I don't because there's so really? many. I uh, know well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not that type wow. where I got see because I listen to the people in the clubs and Ram fans and stuff, and they're trying to display everything. They say, "I know this guy, I know that guy." Because right here, it's a power trip. If you, the more players you know, the <laughs> everybody respects you here. And right. I just, I just sit back and I just don't say nothing because I know. They're talking about their favorite player, and they're happy. And mm -hmm. I don't want to say, well, I know this guy. And <laughs> well, I, I know this. <laughs> I'm not going to do that to them. I got to let them have their moment because I already know I, I, all these guys. And then they're displaying all their stuff in their rooms and garages. And I go, Todd, this is enough right here. Every now and then I'll change it up. But I won't. Mm -hmm. I can fill up a bar. I mean, oh, two, or three wow. times, two or three times for the photos. Oh, man. Over, awesome. I think over the years I took in almost well the last count was seventeen thousand, but that's counting training camps out here when they first the LA came right. out here. A couple of St. Louis and some St. Louis photos I haven't quite put in there yet. Of Orlando and Marshall oh. Falk and those guys, yeah. I haven't yeah. put anything of them in there yet because I go I put rare alley around. So why don't I just put just rare alley rare, rare ram photos? Mm. I go well, that will knock the LA off and put some St. Louis stuff in there. But eventually, yeah. Yeah, eventually, you're gonna see that stuff. When I go, there's only so many Ram fans photos I can give you. Oh, I would love to see. I I was loyal to the core when they went to St. Louis. I went with them. I was bitter about it, and I couldn't have been. I literally had a party at my house when they came back to yeah, LA but, a few years ago. I mean, I couldn't yeah. be more excited. But you have these yeah. people here in LA that 
a big resentment on them. They, oh, ridiculous. You say, okay, yeah. they go to SoFi Stadium, you see a lot of Raider fans, 49er fans, yeah. Chargers fans. Why? Right. We didn't have a team for 20 years. Yeah. True, true. Yeah. And those those kids, and they were th- three years old, followed whoever was in California because the, yeah. the Raiders practice out here, and I guess, uh, so, uh, well, no, the Cowboys were in Oxnard and, mm-hmm. at that time. So all the kids went to go see Dallas, and then so there are a bunch of Dallas fans here because they were fans mm-hmm. since they were three. And now that the Rams are here, you can't tell them to switch allegiance because they weren't yeah. there. They weren't born <laughs> when the Rams moved. Yeah. So it's you're going to see the only the only way you're going to see dominance of a Ram fans at the stadiums now is the little kids that you see now, like 10, 12 years old, or were there sixth graders? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're when their parents become Ram fans and then their kids and that that's right. when you see the turnover because we're, we're not going to see it in our lifetime uh, right. maybe even yeah. in the Super Bowl you even saw half and half which is normal because that's corporate right but, but uh like playoff games and stuff like that you're not you're not going to see a total Ram fan base there yeah it's such a shame not when you, yeah not I played. yeah when Preston played there was a you could tell oh the that's stadium. a golden era yeah. nothing but a play yeah those are my Rams teams. They'll, they'll yeah. always be. It's never going to change. That's when I was a kid. Yeah, those, those are my guys. So I yeah. love your page. Thanks for sharing it with our listeners. Re- tell us, was there someone you really enjoyed photographing or something that moved you? I mean, the, look, Pulitzer Prizes and stuff are one with photography and literature and all that. Was there something in your experience as a photographer for the Rams or, or really any subject outside of the Rams that... It's. It was so enjoyable for you, or it was challenging. Well, it was it's Kevin Green. Yeah, I'll tell you the truth, I took a lot of him. Oh, really? It, it, me and him got personal. His rookie year, no one knew who he was. Oh no! Like, no. So I, I talked to him. I go, he was like, I go, he was cool. I go, yeah. I say he's my favorite player, but he's my favorite person. Yeah. So, oh, that's cool. You know, good, good. You know, and it was good, and it was good taking pictures of him. Then I. I seen I seen him with his wife Tara before he got married. When she would go out there, she was a little dainty girl waiting for him. You <laughs> see this big rough guy. He's just a mad dog out there. Even when he gets off the field, oh, yeah. and he goes, "I gotta go see my girl." And then I see your girl. Wait, this girl must be tough with tattoos or something. <laughs> Church girl and everything. Oh, she's the one that keeps him tamed. <laughs> <laughs> keeps him yeah. under wraps. <laughs> yeah. And I, I go, I don't think that's going to last. And yeah. they ended up marrying and having kids. And I go, boy, she really has. He, he, he wanted to keep her. He had to calm down. He had to. Yeah. <laughs> so I go, good choice, Kevin. Good choice. Okay. Well, you've had an illustrious yes. career. Great experiences. Meeting a lot of these uh former athletes, current athletes, and just seeing the game change and so on. Mm-hmm. If if you saw someone who came up to you eagerly saying, how can I do this? What would your encouragement of words be based on your experience? Well, at that time, I, I wanted to take pictures of football. You like football, you like baseball, basketball. Mm-hmm. Stick to that sport, no matter what. Because oh. other, other stuff comes around. I go, say you're taking pictures of basketball, and then the player would tell you, hey, can you take pictures of my family and stuff like that? And then you take pictures of their kids playing sports, mm-hmm. little league sports. Mm-hmm. And from there, it just snowballs. Every you, you Like, I thought I was just going to take pictures and for the cheerleaders, that's it. And yeah. it, was, it was okay. But <laughs> it, ended okay. Up, <laughs> it, 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 been, it, it ended up being a marathon, like, for 25 years. Like, wow. Oh, wow. See, and I don't even know what year I'm talking about because I don't. These players mix in. <laughs> oh, these players mix in and everything. Yeah. But, do you, oh, do you I still, don't know what you're talking about. Do you take pictures of the modern team? Like, are you getting the Cooper Cups and the Aaron Donalds? Well, like training the, camps. The At training, training camps. camps. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, they won't let me go on the field or because of wow. they say it's national security. Oh, ever since okay. 911 but yeah. i see guys go down there that aren't even supposed to be there i checked them before i put myself down there <laughs> but, but one of these days i go maybe somebody will say something and yeah. you know, give, me a, give me a pass 
And if they do, I'll let you know, Press. <laughs> <All right. laughs> they say, hey, they let me down here. <laughs> but I'd, I'd like to take one to see how, how much I lost or what I gained. But I, I, do, I do some freelancing, though. I like, yeah. I like taking pictures of the mountains and whatever I need to do at that time. Or, or the golf tournaments. <laughs> yeah, I do golf tournaments. Well, you know what? You support the uh, L.A. Rams Booster Club, Southern mm -hmm. California. Uh -huh. Tell us a little bit about that. Of course, you and I have our dear friend there, Mr. Valdez, who's um, uh, ha had to step down for personal reasons. But tell us about the uh, the organization, the good yeah, that the they so do. Yeah, the SoCal Round Booster Club has been around for 19 years. The The Booster Club started when they were in St. Louis. They they, didn't, they weren't around when they were in L.A. So when they oh, went to wow. St. Louis, everybody just jumped ship except Ralph had an idea with some of his friends. I go, let's start a booster club for just at St. Louis Rams. I go, we'll, we'll be here in LA. So the club started out in little places like restaurants and stuff like that. And over the years, we've gotten bigger. Uh, I knew they had, I knew they were big because uh, some of their, some of their members right there uh, worked with the Rams at one point and mm -hmm. they just, they only did one year selling tickets or something. Yeah, but they had something to do with the Rams when they mm -hmm. were here. So the club got bigger, and as it, as 19 years later, they got over a thousand members and wow. stuff on like wow. And I, the, I, I joined them nine years ago, mm -hmm. and then I said I could bring a couple of players here, which they already had Harold Jackson there, and right, and Harold Jackson and Ron Brown were already visiting because they were local, but. Right. I, then I started getting them. Uh, Doug Reed, and then Reggie came along. Then uh, Ivory came along. Ivory Sully, wow. and then uh, we had uh, Damone Johnson show up and oh, stuff yeah. like that. I got those guys. They would never come out. Charles Dejournay, the late great Dr. Charles. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah, he came out. They wouldn't do anything either. I got them out there and to our Ram Fest. We had Ram Fest out here, but just nothing but Ram fans. Anybody wearing a Green Bay Raider stuff wasn't allowed in there. <laughs> yes. 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 Booster Club, if you're wearing another jersey, the only jerseys you can wear are either Rams, Dodgers, or Lakers. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> you can't Southern wear flavor. Yeah, you can't wear Raiders. You can't wear San Francisco. Oh. Whatever or uh, hat. You can't come in unless you take it off. San Francisco, <laughs> they better not let a 49er fan in there. Heck no. Oh, no that, what? This is for personal reasons. Or, and, <laughs> and it's, because, it's because it's a safety issue. Yeah, <laughs> for the 49er fan. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, exactly. A hundred against one. I don't think you can oh. that. You really hate the Rams. But that's how, we, that's how some people walk away and they go, well, you know what? I'm a 49er fan. If I, was a, if I had a booster club, I'd welcome all you guys. I go, well, when yeah. you when you start your booster club, let us know. Oh, <laughs> but yeah. there's no booster clubs out here. They just like they get together at, at tailgate parties. That's about it. Mm -hmm. Well, and 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 Stacy, you're going to recall this uh, when I mention this, but the great works that the booster club is doing. They partnered uh, for a beneficiary, which is the Leah Sweet Foundation. Yeah. Heart Joe Sweet. Foundation, yeah. Joe Sweet's program for his little boy. And we had him on air talking about that foundation. So that's that's a connection. And these guys do great work. I come out to the golf tournament every year to support them where they raise oh, funds. Wow. So it's it's really a great, great deal. Uh, Henry, we've come to the part in our show, my friend, where we start winding it down. But we put yeah. you in a, a real big challenge. And um, this is what's called the two-minute drill. Oh, but, don't, but don't expect me to get it right. Oh, uh, well, hey, there's, <laughs> there's no, no right answers. There's no right or wrong answers to this. It's just basically your rapid-fire decision of which you enjoy. And I, I know as we finish that up, uh, Stacy will wrap this thing up and just kind of identify where people can go to you, find your photos if you're on Twitter or Instagram yeah, or whatever it might be. I interact with them pretty much when they when they answer stuff. Okay. Like hey, that's my favorite player. I go, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll keep you out of that that little deal there. Okay, all right. If you're ready, Stacy, you're ready for this. I'm ready. Let's. Fire all up, right. Baby. Here's the first one. Uh, in regards to your business, cheerleaders or athletes? Athletes. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Your favorite movie? Mm, boy, uh, 
All Rocky movies. Oh, okay. Rocky movies. Wow. Okay, I like that. Okay. Just because I didn't have a job at that time, and I told my mom I was going to look for a job, I went to the movies instead of watching Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Your greatest football shot. You may have mentioned this already, but uh, there may be another one out there. Oh, uh, when uh, David Lang's jumping over the one-yard line against uh, Atlanta, oh. and uh, he dropped the ball. He dropped the ball, but it was, it was he scored. But uh, after that, he goes, I bit my tongue. <laughs> 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 I, just, I, just, I bit my tongue. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. <laughs> that's when he let go of the ball. You'll see the shot of the ball. He looked like he dropped it. No, yeah. That's when he bit his tongue. Ooh, ooh. That that been there before. Incredible. Yeah. I know the shot. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to sneak one in there. Um, your favorite Preston Denard shot, if you got one. Um, uh, my favorite Preston Denard shot, I, I, boy, if I could find it. I, I <laughs> that's how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. My favorite Preston Denard shot was when uh, you were coming out uh, as a I think it's uh, during the Cowboy game, the uh, playoff game. Mm -hmm. uh, you were just coming out when uh, Billy Waddy scored that touchdown. You were oh. coming out with your helmet. Just, uh, you were laying it on the uh, Cowboy fans. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, my co-host was a you trash were, talker? What? You, were the, you were the Michael Irvin. Uh, oh, Cowboys don't game. say that. <laughs> you, when you started that and you did it in the Super Bowl, too, because when you told me it's a long day, or you must have been thinking other stuff, too. Oh, like, wow. Like, oh. That's a, I uh, have. <laughs> Michael Irvin does that, and that like, reminds me of you. I, go, nah, uh, I guess it's a wide thing. receiver thing. I don't this know. This is the best two minute drill ever. <laughs> I know. What? I can't even get through it. Oh, my God. There's a flag being thrown on that play. All right. We're going we're gonna to move on, then. Who plays you in a movie of your life? <laughs> oh, I don't think there's a, uh, probably be while well, the only Mexican guy out there is George Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> love <laughs> it. I love I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I'm I got slim pickings there. I go, slim pickings. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, I go, oh, I'm great. I go, okay. I, I got one last question for you. Um, who is it? Who's who's work out there that you admire as a photographer? Someone that's behind the lens. The behind the lens uh, would probably be this guy named Jimmy Schwartz. Uh, he worked for the Dallas. He he worked. He was a photographer for the for the Associated Press, and he went to work worked uh, for ESPN magazine. Oh, uh, wow. oh, but he he passed away, and there's a wow. sad story about him. Uh, I went to his funeral. And the, there was only 15 people there really? at his at his funeral, and because he was single, he was traveling all the time. Yeah, he went oh. all over the world, but he had nothing to show for it. Mm. And that's what got me thinking. I go, I can't live like that. I go, oh. yeah. you go. I have a big family, but I go, just my immediate. Family. I go, I want some friends and stuff. And mm -hmm. I wasn't married. I was married, but briefly. But now I'm married. I go, so I'm good now. Mm -hmm. All right. At that time, I go, but I just didn't want to have that life where his life ended, all his stuff. I don't know where it went. Wow. We don't know. I, I, no one knows where his work went or who has wow. it. Because I know he didn't have a wife or or kids. Mm -hmm. So wow. I didn't want to get into that situation. Mm -hmm. I don't blame you. Very interesting That's life deal. lesson. Wow. Yeah. So that yeah. changed. That changed right there, right after I, I worked with Seattle, and I go, no. This is it. Like, I'm going home. I could do something better over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, wow. So you actually took photographs for the Seahawks briefly? See, bri for that one season in the 96. Because okay. 95. Uh, no, 2005. No, 2005 was my last year with the Rams. I think it was that Monday night game. Uh, that weekend, it was the push Bush in the end zone, the Notre Dame. Oh, I went, to that, I went yeah. to that game. Then the next, that following Monday, the Rams played the Colts. And that was my last time I shot uh, at that stadium. And from there, I went to Seattle. But then I worked with Cardinals and the Cleveland Browns, too, at the same Boy, time. You've had a journey. Incredible. Yeah. How yeah. exciting. So 
and even when I think about it, I go, yeah, I did. I don't, I don't think about it the way you guys are talking, bringing it up. <laughs> but I, I guess I have done a lot, and here I'm thinking, I didn't do much. <laughs> yeah. Now give everybody that website again where they can go to and. It's a rare alley ram photos, uh, seen through the lens of Henry Yep. But right. once you get rare alley rams, you're in there. I'm not on Instagram or nothing because then I'll get more, I'll get more feedback there. But I really not going. I'm just going total ram fan. That a boy. Excellent. <laughs> well, we'll, we will post that Facebook page and that URL to the YouTube video and whatnot for all our listeners that want to go check out. I'm looking at the photos and I'm, I can't wait to dig in. Can I? Can I ask a favor of? You? Oh, go ahead, Henry. You got three thousand more photos to look at in there. I okay. Wow. I'm gonna be there all night while we eat dinner <laughs> doing this. But you gotta promise me that you're gonna post some of those uh, Preston shots. Oh! Uh, I mean, I One I was hoping to give them to him first before I post. Yeah, them. let's let's let Preston clear him when he's trash talking the Cowboys fans. But hey, I, it, oh. if I'm on camera, that means it's real. <laughs> you, were, you weren't afraid of the camera, even when you were working there. You no, found I wasn't. That you found that bird's nest and you wanted and the, the mama bird wasn't around you got the nest and replaced it somewhere you go wow this the mama's coming so you got to be careful you got to be careful this is incredible <laughs> the family got to be together and that's uh, i remember that uh that oh my god matter of fact uh david david uh, he he took those pictures of, of you that day Did he? okay <laughs> Yeah, so I, I go, oh. <laughs> so oh he was, was I'll tell you what, if you happen to have the one, uh, <laughs> and, and then we'll wrap this up, but if you happen to have the one of Preston laying out on Monday night football, oh. that catch he made, I would love Cowboys? if you'd post that. Oh, no, that was against Cowboys? That's against Cowboys. Cowboys, yep. December 15, 1980, Monday there we night. Go. Monday night football. <laughs> I'll never forget it. I was peaked, yeah. <laughs> I, I, he did a lot of stuff. It's just that all these receive every. I seen so many good plays from everybody. You know, yeah. Like a pressing. Well, pressing. You said you you were like, I was following you in high school. I go, I got to do what he does. You go. Everybody was emulating their. You know. <laughs> Sprained my arm doing it, Henry. Sprained my arm. You and Tony yes. Hill. Tony <laughs> Hill. Yeah. Yeah. That was good I, battles. I wanted to get. I wanted to get something like that, but. Man, I wish yeah. I would have grown a little bit more. I wouldn't have been in this photography business. Yeah, see, <laughs> yeah. there you go. I say Wise that every words. time I see him. <laughs> Henry, yep, thank you a million times over. Yes, this sir. was a very enjoyable visit and one that uh, gives us a unique perspective on this game that we all love. Really appreciate you coming in. We will post that website. Please get those photos up. There's some diehards that would love to see your work, all that hard work over the years. Thank you. Thank you for having me on so the show, much. guys. Thank you, folks. If you're listening for the first time to Gridiron Icon, hosted by myself and L.A. Ram legend Preston Denard, follow us everywhere, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. You can find us on all the major podcast host networks. Again, big thanks to Henry Yep, and we will see you next week. Thank you, my friend. Thank you.